and welcome to Jolly Cooperation. My name is Brock and today I am continuing on with Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. And something became very apparent while I was editing my previous video was and I blatantly forgot a very important item. And that is this guy's quivering torso. Uh, what this is, is if you select this quivering torso, it puts the game in easy mode for all of those people complaining that the game is too hard. I am, of course, taking the piss. And so I should. No, I completely forgot this item that's right smack bang in the fire. And it's quite an important item. It is the flame barrel. An iron barrel that spews fire can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. It is difficult to control the rage-filled red eyes with the power of man alone. Those are not stoner red eyes, I would like to add. Terrible joke, sorry. However, a fire-based weapon could be a means of resisting them. They are said to fear fire above all else. I only got and missed one of the prosthetic tools, so I never actually went back to see Gordon Bennett, the sculptor. His name, true law fact, his name is Gordon Bennett. <laughs> I would hope nobody believed that comment, but it'd be funny if somebody did. It's not true. His name's Cecil Parkinson. Um, so I'm going to go and fit these. The skills, I believe, I acquired. The suppressed presence. Yes, I think it was suppressed presence. Now there's another skill that I want, but I need to go and see Cecil Parkinson. So you can see that the I have a message, Undying Samurai Training, the Mikiri Counter unlocked. So I can go and practice the Mikiri Counter, I'm just going to show it in the real game. So let's go and talk to Cecil. So, Lord, I am. was that a dream or was it real? <laughs> Whether it was a dream or it was reality. I have no idea. There is one thing I can tell you. The great Buddha has seen fit to awaken old memories within you. What you felt, what you remembered, that is what it all depends upon. I'm not sure if what I saw is what truly happened. That's how it works. So we present him with the the loaded axe and the flame vent. The shinobi prosthetic. Appears you've taken to it quite well. Here, this is for you. And now we have the prosthetic esoteric text, a book of secrets that details a variety of techniques for use with shinobi prosthetic. Grants the ability to learn prosthetic style skills. So basically what this means... What is it? It contains ways to bite into your foes with that fang of yours. In other words, fighting techniques for your prosthetic arm. I see. I had thought that prosthetic techniques wouldn't ever be needed again. But it seems I was wrong. Seems you were... Another time then. I'll lend you shelter any time. Thank you. So although he's fitted the prosthetic tools, I still have to fit the prosthetic tools. So we go here, loaded axe, flame vent. And now the default settings, you would press Y to change this. I've changed my settings. So I press up on the D-pad. So you can see I can cycle between all of my lovely prosthetics. Um, 
And we're going to go back to the Harata estate. And carry on this way. Now, I've already cleared out this area. I did do that little bit of farming just to get my presence suppression, for want of a better term, right at this moment. So I am harder to spot, which is a good thing. I'll take that dude out. So you can see I've still got a skill point. What I want to do is I'm saving up my skill points. Oh, there is an area in here that I didn't actually do, isn't there? There's not a lot here, I don't remember. Oh, shh, I didn't remember that. There is lots of these cockles, so... Let's take that one out. I think there's another couple over there. And there's one over here, if memory serves me right, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> oh, bugger. Not a good start. What have we got here? Some Ungo sugar. I must say, I, I probably need to use the sugar more than I have been. Now, I do believe I can get on this roof over here. Ah, there's an item here as well. A light coin purse in this little bird's nest. Whee! Oh. Thwarted by a fence. There we go. It. I don't believe there's anything else here, is there? There's no way of breaking into there. I think I've got the only item here. So it isn't really the... There's not really much point in going there unless Ungo Sugar is something that you desire. I'm going to sneak up on these guys. Hey, open up. Open up or else. I can hear you whispering in there. If you don't surrender peaceably now, you're going to regret it later. Hey, can you hear me? Hey. Is peaceably a word? Wouldn't that be peacefully? Instant death is what you deserve. today. There we go. Seems like today is going to be one of those days where I'm not quite with it. So we have a new air, little area here to go around. There's no enemies here. What there is is a lot of NPCs that you can talk to. You. You're the young master shinobi. Yes. What good are you? You were nowhere to be seen when things went south. Wait, tell me you didn't lead them here yourself. The timing of your attack was perfect. Normally those bandits wouldn't have stood a chance. Yes. Yes, it had to be you. I hope you die, traitor. He's not very pleased to see me, is he? Well, here we have an, another eavesdrop. It'll make your wounds worse. Enough. I must go. There is a shinobi hunter among the bandits. He's highly skilled. He's got his own face and... Oh! I forbid it. 
You are in no condition. So he makes mention of a shinobi hunter. Who, who are you? I'm not a thief. Uh, you, you're the young lord. Oh, thank goodness. Honorable shinobi. Those filthy bandits are after the young lord. They've already climbed the hill and set the estate on fire. It looked as if the young lord had no way to escape. I beg of you, Shinobi. Please rescue the young lord. I entrust this to you. And we have an antidote powder. A powerful antidote concocted by the Sunken Valley Clan. Heals status abnormality poison and temporarily increases poison resistance. Magnetite deposits are found in the Sunken Valley, but the place is dangerously toxic. Antidote powder is essential for anyone attempting to mine the ore. I pray it is of help. Thank you. Yes, I appreciate it. So we have quite a mixed response from the people of this little area. For reasons which I'm sure will come about. We also find... Oh, I'm going to go over this way first. Here's a little area I found that you can go up through into the forest and find a bundled Jizo statue. <laughs> Jizz. A small Buddha effigy bound in red cloth, raised in prayer between one's palms to restore a node of resurrective power. To ensway the Jizo statue is to express feelings of parental love. The bundle of cloth is to at least ensure that the little one goes on in peace. So that basically will reimburse us. There's an item there. I never noticed that before. I know I can't get through here. My blade can cut through anything but these bamboo trees. Not sure if I've actually been the other side of that. Possibly, maybe, could have been, don't know. We will find out. I will totally forget that that's even there. We find this guy. Hey, good sir. Are you a looter too? Good sir, you look like a shinobi, I think. Are you looking for something? Well, in any case, <laughs> I found this place first. Hmm? <laughs> so keep your eyes peeled out there, huh? And, uh, you know, don't let the door hit you. Oh, by the way, while I was on my way here, I saw a three-story pagoda on top of some cliff. It was a fine pagoda. Really fine. I bet there's some kind of treasure kept in there. <laughs> Gotta be. That's what I think, at least. We were looking for a three-story pagoda. Basically, this building that I'm at is a single-story pagoda. Uh, I have found that area. I will never go there ever again. <laughs> no, I will at some point. Not for a bit yet, I don't think. There's some more guys here. Up there, you can just about see there's a guy with a shield. Hence why I'm getting my axe prosthetic ready. Now, this gentleman, he stops... Stealth kill on him. Ah! He charged me, the son of a bumpy. I, I am not friendly with you right now, sir. That was far more aggressive than you've ever been with me before. So you can see the axe just instantly takes out their shield. And now I'm left with a situation. Now there are a few ways to go. You can go and land into that water. I believe there's treasure carp in there as well. I'm going to go around this way because here we have an area full of people. And you can see there's a new enemy right at the back. There's also a very annoying enemy sneakily hidden near the bushes. So we're going to head towards... Th no, I don't think I'd do that one first, do I? I think, I think it is this one I take out first. Spider. 
chill down here for a bit. In fact, I think I need to run. Oh, no. He's given up. He's still curious. Yeah, sometimes you can take that first guy that I took out with and he doesn't spot you. So look, you can see there's actually a fog gate there. Which I don't think I noticed before. So I've got to be careful with this guy. I don't want to attract his attention, so I'm just going to stealth here. While I'm waiting for him, I will just have a little rant. Uh, as I play this, the third part of my Securio playthrough failed to upload. It got to 95% processing and then was just like, nope, not doing it anymore. Ah, sugar, I got spotted again. Never mind. So let's hoover up all the monies. Yeah. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I want to take a pellet, I think. There we go. Ah, oh, shit. Bless iframes. I don't think he's attracted the shin the shin I'll say it, it's the shinobi hunter over there. Don't seem to have attracted his attention. Oh you're a you're a oh, you shitbag! You absolute shitbag! There's the Makuri counter in all its glory. Hmm. Ah, oh, nice. I've got my second skill point there, so I'm probably going to die to the Shinobi Hunter that's here. Because I've only got one heal of my gourd and one pellet. After really not doing well. It's annoying because in my th in the third part of my playthrough, I was actually doing quite well. Today is going to be one of those days where I don't do so well. See, it's only when you get a bit closer that that fog gate actually appears. So that shows that you have to beat this enemy to proceed any further. And you can see he's got two health bars. He's not considered a boss, I don't believe. He's considered a mini boss or an elite enemy. So I'm going to make this fight slightly easier. I hope. By doing a sneak attack. So here we go. It's talking about the Makiri counter. I'm just waiting for him to do a particular move, that's the one. Look at that! 
I was one. Oh, I got greedy. I was one hit away. I wasn't locked on then, which was really friggin' annoying. And look at that. Come on. Let's just have some patience now. He will reset in a second. So I'm going to take my pellet. Yet, that was not what I wanted to do. And there we go. Shinobi Hunter dealt with. We get another prayer bead, and that means I have two more beads. Well, that's. Oh no, I only have two beads, don't I? So the Shinobi Hunter has been taken down. I am desperately low on health, though. But we will move on. I believe there's an item here. A pellet. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and not heal because there is a sculptor's idol. And we also get a Mibu possession balloon. So again, this just enables you to. Have higher item pickup ability. For want of a better term, uh, I'm going to go to acquire skills. I'm just going to have a look. Um, there's a um, I think I want. No, I'm going to go for the... Ch oh, actually. I do want that ability. Yeah, I definitely did want that ability because I want that eventually, but I also want that. I picked the wrong thing. I want that. Oh well, it's one skill point. It's one skill point. Um, I don't have a combat art, do I? No. I don't. Oh, let's let's definitely rest. Bushes for these two fools to come past. What? Dispatched with. And then there's a guy up here. I can't remember which is the best side to go. Maybe here. Yeah. Stealth kill, bitches. 
guy. Wrecked him. Wrecked him. <laughs> oh, I'm in a silly mood today. Here we've got some dousing powder. Medicine for treating burns. Heals the burn status abnormality. I think we've picked one of those up before. I can't be entirely sure. It's a problem having two playthroughs on the go at the same time. So again we've got this watery area that you can just drop down into. Uh, what's going to be the best course of action here? I think we'll go to this here. Thank you, man. And I want to show you my... Oh, shit! I didn't want to show you that. And I don't want to show you my shit. Hmm. Yeah, very, very untidy today. I was going to show you my shuriken dash attack thing, but it failed miserably. I apologise for being pooped today. No. Whoop. There's a lot of archers up there, so I just usually pop up, take one out. Why did he not stealth kill him? Why? You saw the red thing appear. You saw the red thing appear! I pressed the attack button. And the computer says no. Mother puss bucket. So again, I'm just gonna pop up. Head to the nearest one. That all of them there. That bit can be a particular pain in the bum. So, yeah, I remember you can grapple up here. Can't remember what's up here though. Let's have a let's have a look together. I think there is a way. Ah, I could have grappled up there, and then. Grappled there, maybe got the stealth kill on him, and then got shot with lots of arrows. All right, we have an item here. We have some oil. I think that's about all there is, isn't it? Let's throw that at him. Come fight me! Oh no! So that's that ability that I just. There we go. Don't remember this guy having this much health, to be honest. was it at all. So, big dude on a bridge. Defeated. Now we got this guy. Let's make him out. And we've got uh, another skill point back. Uh, there's no items up here. Let's continue on. Get his attention. Uh, 
any shield, guys. I'm just going to go and screw it. Go. One down. They're not always so standoffish as they're being today. They will. They will. Well, you saw that. I think that first one was quite aggressive with me. Fistful of ash. So you can see there's an area you can get to there. And you can't see where it takes you to, but I assure you. It's a place where great difficulty lies. And then we head up, and this is the main Harata estate, and you can see it's burning down. And look, oh, we found Andre the blacksmith. No, it's not really. Father, uh, it's you, I'm afraid I made a bit of a blunder. Perhaps the years have finally caught up with me. Ah, don't bother tending to my wounds, no point. Mm. It's too late. Uh, wolf, you must take this. So we've got the hidden temple key. The key to the hidden temple in the Harata estate given by the owl. The secret temple is located in the very back of the Harata estate. Two, the Lord is absolute. Defend him with your life. If he is taken, bring him back at any cost. This is the key to the secret temple. In the estate mansion, you'll find him. The divine heir. Going through the front is not an option. You'll never get past the fire. Yes, sir. Perhaps the cliff's just outside of here. Yes. Return to the estate entrance. Then look for a side route along the cliffs. Take the back entrance through the cemetery. That's your way in. Understood. Wolf, never forget the Iron Code. Yes. The master is absolute. Wolf, protect your master. Father. <laughs> Father. Sandy really cut up about that, didn't he? So, we're looking for the back entrance. <laughs> oh, and press F to pay respects. And all that jazz. Have a quick look. I don't think there's anything on here. Basically, that's where we're heading to. I'm going to be brave. Ah! Ah! They do worry me, those jumps, because it's like the game could just be like, uh, no. And now we've got to an area here. That I actually there is a shortcut because this oh I'll show the shortcut why not grapple down onto here just check there's no treasure carp around and I believe we go back this way so you don't even need oh Treasure cart. That's no, too low. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get that. Ow! You son of a shit! I'm gonna have a healing gourd just in case. I don't know where those guys went. Oh, I've ended up coming back the way I came, haven't I? That's not good. I think it was the lock-on that did that to me. Oh, 
Oh, those sons of guns are really annoying. Look at the damage they're doing. Oh, you... That's why I hate those jumps. Wow. <laughs> I was literally mashing the button. And look where we are. We're back here. Take this dude out. Bit of extra. Oh, I did get spotted. Never mind. Ah, oh, yeah, this isn't terribly much of shit. Okay. <laughs> Run away! So basically, there is a shortcut of sorts here. Bravely run away. It's the sensible thing to do. And I'm going to rest because I wasn't too happy with my health situation. And I can just go back there. And also what I can do is call an end to the episode. So thank you very much for watching. If indeed you still are. But for now. And until the next time. I will see you later. Goodbye.